There has to be some way we can maintain the sense that people have that there's uh, some security or some confidence uh, that government can function and that we can elect the President of the United States. Did we go back into session? We did go back into session, but now apparently everybody on the floor is putting on tear gas masks to prepare for a breach. Well, I'm trying to get more information. They're putting on their tear gas masks. I'm going to call up the effing secretary of DOD. We have some senators who are still in their hideaways. They need massive personnel now. Can you get the Maryland National Guard to come too? I have something to say, Mr. Secretary. Well, I'm going to call the, the mayor of Washington, D.C. right now and see what uh, other outreach she has to other police departments, as the uh, leader Hoyer has mentioned. Hi, Governor. Uh, this is Nancy. Uh, Governor, I don't know if you have been approached about the uh, Virginia National Guard. Mr. Hoyer was connect, uh, speaking to uh, uh, Governor Hogan, uh, but I still think you probably need the okay of the... Uh, the federal government in order to come into another jurisdiction. Thank you. Oh my gosh. They're just breaking windows. They're doing all, all kinds of, it's really that somebody, they said somebody was shot. It's just, it's just horrendous and all at the instigation of the president of the United States. Okay. Thank you, governor. I appreciate what you're doing. And if you don't mind, I'd like to stay in touch. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Virginia Guard has been called in. Yeah, and I'm just talking to Governor Northam. Yeah. And what he said is they sent 200 of uh, state police and a unit of the National Guard. They're breaking windows and going in, uh, uh, obviously ransacking our offices and all the rest of that. That's nothing. The, uh, the concern we have about uh, personal safety personal safety is it just transcends everything but the fact is on any given day they're breaking the law in many different ways and quite frankly much of it at the instigation of the president of the united states and now uh, if, if he could could at least uh, somebody yeah why don't you get the president to tell them to leave the capital mr attorney general in your law enforcement responsibility a public statement they should all leave this cannot be just we're waiting for so and so. We need them there now, whoever you got. You have okay? you also have troops. This is Stunny Hoyer troops. Okay. So we have a Fort little bit Madeira, of time to make that decision. Andrews Air Force Base. All right. Other military bases. Thank you. We Thanks, need Paul. active Bye. duty National Guard. How soon in the future can you have the place evacuated and pulled you know, cleaned out? Well, just pretend, just pretend for a moment it was the Winterbomb or the White House or some other entity that was under siege. And let me say, you can logistically get people there as you make the plan. I talked to Mitch about it earlier. He, uh, he's not in the room right now, but he was with us earlier uh, and said, you know, we want to expedite this and hopefully they could confine it to just one complaint, Arizona, and then we could vote and, and that would be, you know, then just move forward with the rest of the state. We've gotten a very bad report about the condition of, of the um, house floor with defecation and all that kind of thing as well. I don't think that that's hard to clean up, but I do think it is... Uh, more from a security standpoint of making sure that everybody is out of the building and how long will that take? I just got off with the vice president. And I got off with the vice president-elect. So I'll tell you okay. yeah. But what we left the conversation with, because he said he had the impression from Mitch that Mitch wants to get everybody back to do it there. Yes. I said that what we're getting a counterpoint that is, it could take time uh, to clean up the poo-poo that they're making all over the, literally and figuratively in the Capitol, and that uh, it may take days to get back. And I'm, I'm at the Capitol building. I'm literally standing with 
uh, the chief of police of uh, the U.S. Capitol Police. He just informed me what you will hear through official channels. Paul Irving, your sergeant at arms, will inform you that their best information is that they believe that uh, the House and the Senate will be able uh, to reconvene in roughly an hour. Good news. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. Good news.